Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3! We're back at Tanticle because before turning in that rainbow draft, there's one more area that we can explore, and this area is very hard. The Northern Cave, also known as Erdrich's Cave from the first game. So let's take a look around. I don't think there's any enemies here on this part, so uh, yeah, yeah, just like the first game. Well, there we go. And I changed my formation around because the uh, hero has a lot more defense than my soldier now with that armor of radiance. I also, uh, what is it, stocked up on medical herbs and gave the thunder sword to my soldier because you can't use magic here. It doesn't work. It's locked. So, oh well. Huh? What's that up there? That wasn't there in the first game. Oh, uh, holy crap! Troll kings! No wonder these guys keep on respawning. Okay, now with these guys, uh, let's see. Yeah, we probably just wanna... We wanna take out the Hydra first. Or, er, no, no, we wanna take out the Troll King first. Uh, will Boom work? No, it won't work on the Hydra, or at least not very well. So, basically, everyone go all out at the Troll King there, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need to worry about the Troll King. Uh, I was gonna say, he can cast Limbo on you, but all spells are locked here. So, even the enemies can't use spells. I should have gone after the Hydra first. Oh, well. But yeah, they got some, well, not incredibly tough flaming breath, but hard not. Yeah, you see, that's the uh, Cloak of Evasion in action there. But, uh, well, that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. But, uh, well, there you go. But yeah, they got some of the hardest enemies in the game here. No spells will work here. So, oh, there's nothing down there. By the way, using weapons to cast spells in battle, that'll still work. So if you've gotten some of those shields of strength, those would come in handy here, but I didn't, so, oh well. Yeah, there's a new room here. Along with new enemies, salamanders, uh, absolutely, absolutely take out the salamanders first. They got really strong flaming breath. Hopefully I can kill them before. Nuts! Ow! So much for that magic armor helping me out. Good thing I got all those, uh... Ow! Don't kill Crystal. Don't... Thank you. Well, hopefully I can kill him, the Hydra quickly enough. And I do have that Leaf of the World tree if I really need it, but hopefully it won't come to that. Uh, with Salamanders, you could use the Sword of Kings for Infermost. That could work on them pretty well. Uh, let's see. With those Troll Kings, Infermost would also work. Also, using the Sword of Thunder for Boom would work pretty well, too. Uh, yeah, let me take a moment to heal up here, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's keep going. Do the best I can here. This is all there is to it, by the way. Just get to this one room. You can find what you're looking for. That's the, uh, crack in the earth that some people were talking about earlier. That where the Archfiend came from. Uh, apparently. Uh, I don't think it would be a good idea to fall down there. What happens if I fall down there? You know what? I don't want to find out today. I'm almost dead to begin with. Nuts. Oh, wait a minute. He won't be able to do anything to me because he can't cast any of his spells. I don't think. Ha-ha! The spell has been broken! Ha-ha! You are no match for me! Yeah? What do you have to say about it? How did Elena... Oh, right. I was like, how did Elena get so much HP? She has the ring of life. Uh, maybe I should uh, switch that up. Huh, you know what? That might not be a bad idea on the way out. Alright, first things first, let's get the treasure chest that has what we really came here for. The Shield of Heroes! Alright. Yeah, I've used up all my medical herbs, so I'm, I'm parry fighting my way out of here. I don't care. Uh, but yeah, equip that on him. Yeah, good defense. So, we found all of the uh, special items that are capable of defeating the Archfiend. So, now I'm just going to meet you back at Romoldar, and we'll get the Rainbow Draft then. Alright, we're back at Romoldar, so let's head on Strauss to the Shrine of Holy. Or, Holy Shrine. Whatever they call it in this game. I don't think it has a name. I just like saying Shrine that way for some reason. Hey, I'm doing this with live commentary today. How bad could it possibly be? We got Gold Bashers here today. Okay, now with these guys, you want to use Fire Elemental Magic on them. So let's use Fire Bolt, so that way we can, I guess, melt them down or something? Uh, I don't know. But, uh, these guys give a lot of gold. They're like the gold men from the first game. Except, uh, well, they're a lot harder. They take a lot longer to kill. So, just 
just use your most powerful fire magic. That'll do the job. You could also use Limbo on them if you really wanted to. But uh, I, when I was uh, fighting them earlier, for some reason I didn't get any gold from them. So, But if you want to like farm some gold to get like shields of strength or whatever, hey, go knock yourself out. That would be the way to go. You've got to go south of Ramoldar in order to really meet up with them. Or you could just go by the shrine itself. Just watch out with the bomb crags. They're like the aggro crag, except you die. They will cast sacrifice on you. Although in this game, it has a chance, and actually a pretty good chance, of only reducing your HP to one instead of outright killing you. So thanks. Thanks, game. I feel so much better about that. Actually, I do, because before it was guaranteed instant death. So, hey, hey, all right, there we go. And who gets the rainbow draft? Ragnar, thanks. Anything else for me? Oh, this is the Shrine of Honor. I'm sorry, I thought it was the Shrine of Holy. Well, there we go. Okay, well, let's head on over to Zoma's Castle then. Or Dragonlord's Castle. Whatever, whoever owns the place. Maybe the Dragonlord's just leasing the place to him. Well, maybe not him, but uh, his mom's renting the place out. Yeah, uh, while you're at college, son, I'm just gonna rent out your room. Thanks. Let's go into Dragon College. Then the Dragon Lord gets back from college and he's like, Zoma! What did you do to my room? No, no. But anyway, if you try sailing over to Zoma's castle, yeah, there's these reefs blocking the way. Yeah, so we're gonna have to walk there the old fashioned way. Uphill, both ways! With tons of encounter rates, just like it always was back in the day. And we, well actually we didn't like it much at all, actually, it was kind of annoying. Uh, okay, so here we are. Let's use the Rainbow Draft. Hopefully it has the same tune as the first game. Alright. Eh, kind of a little remixed, but well, about as remixed as you can get on the NES back in the day. So, By the way, one thing I forgot to mention. The, uh... What is that armor called? Ah, nuts. Steel Guard! Uh, the Armor of Radiance restores 1 HP per step, just like the Ring of Life does. And here we got a new enemy, uh, Green Dragon. Uh, they are not nearly as troublesome as they were in the last game, thank goodness. So, we want to take out the Troll King first, because now he can actually cast that Limbo spell. Well, I got a little lucky there, but... I am not afraid of your flaming breath! Although, actually, at level 32, I could learn... The Barrier spell, also known as Insulate in the more recent Dragon Quest games. And, uh, yeah, it can protect you from Flaming Breath, Cold Breath, so that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, it just takes forever to learn, so, oh well. But against those, uh, Green Dragons, actually, probably what I should have done is, uh, used Beat on them, or Defeat, either one, depending on how many there are, because they're pretty susceptible to, uh, Claiming, or they're pretty susceptible to instant death like that. So that's pretty nice. They're not nearly as annoying to deal with. In the last game, they had a lot of resistance to instant death. Game? Actually, that was pretty good. Uh, just like that one other episode, because uh, when I gained a level for my Sage I learned two new spells. Uh, let's see. Where the hell did it go? Uh, let's, let's try that one again there. Uh, there it is. Ice Spears. It's basically like between Snow Blast and Ice Storm. But it hits all enemies, not just one group. So that's pretty nice. The other thing we got was the barrier spell. Uh, wizard and Pilgrim spells at level 32, respectively there. Alright, so we finally made it to Zoma's castle. Can we defeat him at these low levels? At these low levels? Hell no, I'm getting out of here. Uh, I'm actually going to do some level grinding. Uh, back at Romoldar, I think that's pretty much the best place to do it because you can run into metal babbles there. They're pretty common. Use the Silver Harp or the uh, Golden Claw if you still have it. I'm going to use the Golden Claw because you can just warp right there. So I'm going to do that. I want to get my hero up to level 38 because there's a spell that he can learn at that level that is good for all of us. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3, this is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.